IBM has unleashed a game-changing computer chip for artificial intelligence, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. This chip is a huge leap, boasting a mind-blowing 15 times more power than its predecessors. But what makes this chip truly revolutionary is its analog design. Remember the good old days when analog computers ruled the roost before digital computers took over? Well, IBM's new chip is bringing analog back in a big way. It's a nod to the past, with a futuristic twist. But before we go any further, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get started. First, let's talk about the problem with conventional computer architectures. They typically consist of two main components, memory and a CPU, connected by a data bus. But the data movement between these two components is the bottleneck that's been holding us back. It eats up time and energy, making everything slower and less efficient. Picture this. You want to add two 32-bit numbers together. The actual computation takes a small amount of power, just one picojoule. But before we can even perform that calculation, we need to fetch the data from the memory. And that step gobbles up two to three nanojoules. That's orders of magnitude more power just for moving data around. In today's world of lightning-fast CPUs and data-hungry applications like deep learning, this data movement bottleneck is becoming unbearable. Enter IBM's Herms Analog Chip, a game-changer in the world of computing. This multi-core analog in-memory computing chip is here to tackle that pesky bottleneck head-on. With a whopping 64 cores, it's ready to perform matrix multiplications in the analog domain, using circuit laws to compute dot products. What's so special about it, you ask? Well, here's the game-changing aspect. IBM's chip eliminates the traditional separation between memory and processing. It performs processing within the memory itself, and that's a game-changer. Instead of wasting precious energy shuttling data back and forth, the compute engine is brought to the memory. Just like how our brains perform mental calculations within a network of interconnected neurons. Imagine the complex interplay of cognitive processes like memory retrieval and logical reasoning happening seamlessly within the memory itself. That's precisely how this new IBM chip operates. But how does it work? Let's dive in. IBM's chip uses phase change memory technology, which is incredibly advanced. Unlike traditional binary storage, zeros and ones, phase change memory allows us to store multiple bits in a single memory cell. It's like having a supercharged storage unit that can hold a wealth of information. Here's the magic. The weights from a neural network are stored as conductance values in the phase change memory. These values can represent a wide range of data, from 0.354 to multiple bits in a single memory cell. How do we switch between these states? By carefully modulating the size of the amorphous region inside the phase change memory device. It's elegant in its simplicity yet powerful in its capabilities. Now let's talk about mapping this technology to real neural networks. We program memory cells with weights, encode the input data into input voltages on an analog mesh, perform calculations, and generate neural network outputs. IBM's Herms analog chip represents the cutting edge of research, and it's been fabricated in Albany, New York, showcasing IBM's global collaboration. The chip can already handle over 4 million parameters, but the plan is to scale it up to handle billions of parameters on a single chip. This technology becomes truly beneficial when we can integrate billions of weights onto a single chip, making it a formidable contender against digital chips. The challenge lies in integrating phase change memory devices densely, particularly in creating small crossbars. The limiting factor isn't the size of these devices, which are relatively small, but the ability to integrate them into high-density crossbars effectively. Overcoming this hurdle is crucial for the technology's advancement. One of the biggest challenges is read-out electronics. Unlike conventional memory, Phase change memory technology requires analog to digital converters, or ADCs, for readout, which can be quite massive. Scaling this technology further necessitates finding innovative ways to scale ADCs without adding bulk. 
Running neural networks on an analog chip is a whole new ball game. Retraining the network to be robust to analog noise is a crucial step. It involves injecting noise into synaptic weights during training to make the network resilient to any quirks in the analog world. Now let's talk tools. IBM is armed with an open-source toolkit called the IBM AR Direct Kit, which is instrumental in their groundbreaking research. This toolkit has been a secret weapon behind their innovation, paving the way for something truly extraordinary. Now, let's talk about the software stack. After all, every superhero needs a sidekick, right? IBM's chip needs a compiler, a mastermind that lists all the tasks to be done and maps out the network on different arrays. But the true magic lies in the chip's analog nature. You see, traditional digital computers have one big issue, the separation between memory and processing. It's like having to shuttle data back and forth between two different cities, wasting precious time and energy. IBM's chip, however, flips the script by performing processing right where the data resides. Now, accuracy is the name of the game. Analog computing has faced its fair share of accuracy challenges. Picture this. You're doing a series of operations, and one tiny distortion in the analog process can throw everything into chaos. But IBM has cracked the code. They've implemented clever techniques to enhance accuracy. When they program a memory cell with a weight value, they double-check it. If it doesn't match the target value, they tweak the programming pulse until it's bang on the money. Noise is a sneaky adversary in analog computing. It's like static on your favorite radio station, causing interference. IBM, being the genius it is, has a solution. They use digital scaling of the output and employ 256 ADCs that read and convert analog values into digital ones. Now let's talk numbers. And boy, are they impressive. This chip is a powerhouse, capable of a mind-boggling 400 gig operations per second per area. That's 15 times more powerful than its predecessors. It's like going from riding a bicycle to flying a supersonic jet. This chip is a game changer for the world of artificial intelligence. But the big question remains, will analog computing take over the world? There's a flurry of research happening in this direction, with tech giants across Silicon Valley delving into analog chips. The potential is immense, but the crystal ball remains cloudy. The adoption of multi-bit memory could be the key indicator. Once that happens, analog chips might become a reality for inference applications. Training neural networks on analog chips presents a formidable challenge. Analog chips lack the precision and control required for effective training, making digital chips the current go-to choice. Digital chips like AI accelerators and GPUs reign supreme due to their flexibility and customization options. Additionally, analog chips encounter endurance issues when it comes to frequent weight updates, limiting their versatility. In the current tech landscape, digital chips are the stars of deep neural network training. However, the future of this ever-evolving field remains uncertain. IBM's groundbreaking work in analog chip development showcases the boundless potential of human creativity, sparking excitement about the uncharted territories this analog journey might explore. As technology hurdles into the future, IBM's latest computer chip stands at the forefront of innovation. It pushes the boundaries of what's possible, reshaping the technological landscape. This signals the dawn of more mind-blowing inventions, firmly establishing that the future is unfolding before our very eyes. The limitless possibilities make this an exhilarating era to be part of the technological revolution. IBM's pioneering work in analog technology adds an element of unpredictability to the future of deep neural network training. As technology advances, we can expect more groundbreaking inventions, making this an exciting time to be part of the tech world.